about a year ago, me, Jordan Reynolds, and Rodney Clawson, and Rodney had the title, American Rust, and I think it's a book uh, basically about the whatever the steel district or whatever it's called in, in Pennsylvania and the heart of America and everything kind of the rust belt, I think is what it is. And, uh, so that was kind of, we were talking about that and I started playing this descending thing and Jordan started building a track and the song just kind of colored itself in and immediately like that backstop on the old ball fields made a great a Pennsylvania still. It's been sitting there since 1961 or 1951. Um, that little Easter egg in there, I'll say my dad was born in 1951 and, um, in the house he grew up in, which was my grandmother's house, which is the house that I ended up buying, which is what we're renovating now. The backyard is an extra half acre because when my grandfather bought that piece of property, uh, he, he also bought an extra lot so that he could turn it into a ball field for my dad and his friends. So there used to be, and I've never known the the yard like this, but when my dad was growing up, there was a backstop on the back corner of that, that base, the, my backyard yeah. where they all played, played ball. So that was my little Easter egg for making it personal. Uh, Rodney had the great a Pennsylvania steel and it's like, dang, once that piece of color was in, it kind of like put a whole, the filter of the image in my head was set and then everything else was just like putting it in a frame. So like, uh, turned into one of my favorite songs. I mean, I love the fiddles and everything in it from the jump, just how it felt. Um, and yeah, it kind of manifested itself. I think, I don't know that Delaney and I knew we were pregnant yet when, when it was written about the making babies. So you have to add on, um, and here we are. So song's pretty pretty much dialed in. I mean, it isn't just about baseball. I know I've been branding it alongside baseball because I mean, shit. nostalgic like that. It's nostalgic yeah. to me. I mean, it's it's different for everybody. It, it can mean a bunch of things for everybody. The American dream or whatever, you know, working hard, simple living, what makes you happy and what's important. Um, but it's been fun doing all the promo around it. The video is fun. I like singing it. I look forward to continue to sing it. Uh, definitely got more music coming. We've, we've already recorded, so it's going to be exciting. 2021 going into 2022, a little you, stout piece. Do you want to plug, uh, you throwing out the first pitch? Cause by oh, the yeah. Yeah. Because uh, that'll be, this will come out Monday, and so next Saturday, or the 26th. Yeah. That's when you're doing it. So this Saturday... June 26th, I'm throwing out the first pitch at the Sounds game. Let's go, dude. And, hey, Sounds, have a catcher out there for me. And a gun. We need, we need that on I the saw gun. for Mitchell you had a mascot out there, and that's fine if you have a catcher in a mascot costume. <laughs> Actually, dude, I'm coming hosing. If you want to send the mascot, send the mascot. <laughs> send out your best man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not entertained? Are you going smoke? Like, are you, is that the strategy? I'm going to go 85%. Okay. Strike zone. Okay. Because I feel like if I got up there and just went to yeet a ball, but fucking maybe, what would Kenny, what would Kenny Powers do? <laughs> Throw it to the screen. <laughs> you know? Throw it to the backstop. No What's question. a more viral moment? A strike or the worst the, throw ever? Out of the stadium. I think your goatee over. is I just a viral moment. I turn throw it out the right field wall. <laughs> yeah, into the, into the band box. Yo, has anybody ever taken a first pitch and chucked it over the right field wall? They will talk about that for a long time. <laughs> okay, cut this clip. Cut yeah, this they're clip. Gonna, they're gonna hear this. <laughs> the funny thing is, is they'll never know. <laughs> yeah, dude. So I'll be throwing. Everybody come to the sounds game. Aaron will be there. Bring your gloves and right field. Bring your gloves. <laughs> Bring a pin if you want me to sign your hat. Otherwise, you're getting slapped in the back. <laughs> What did you guys do? Uh, you guys were just in Florida, right? Yeah. I'll the, let you talk about what that. Was that. Yeah. It was the oddest, most amazing experience of my life. Wasn't the most amazing experience of my life, but it was pretty damn fun. I couldn't believe we were doing it. It was uh, the kayak games, kayak dip, uh, owned by Swisher under the umbrella. So we were doing basically like relay races. We did three games. Dip themed relay races. 
so basically we did yeah three games and it was you and i competing against one another that's and crew. like full-on camera listeners. crew that's crewing over there yep crewing here full-on camera crew uh the dude had done like ice pick truckers or whatever and uh deadliest catch dead, yeah he was one of the wars. hostages in uh it, he was held hostage in Indonesia. Like yeah. he, he was cool. He was cool shit to talk to. So this is the safest shoot he's ever done. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but we did uh slip and slide bowling. So there's big inflatable bowling pins <laughs> and uh, we had to hurl our, hurl ourselves through the pins. Uh, I won that. And then we had zero turn lawnmower racing the next day with a, like a course where we had to stop and like fill up this thing with dip cans and go on and like all their products Won that one too, and that but that was fun. As sh- I, I used to cut grass all the time. It was Karun's first time on a zero turn. You were way too comfortable on that. <laughs> I'm more comfortable in a zero turn lawnmower than I am in this chair. <laughs> it's so much fun. I was just. Mm, this sounds mm. like a blast. They do this every year. Like how no, this is the first, first thing. thing. Yeah. This is and then Mike was down there too, and uh, I think I won the whole competition of, among all of us. Versace, they were two and two. Versace and Mike. Yeah, you beat me in the three events. And then they, the they did four contest. events. Oh, really? Yeah. Dang. So, anyways, that's that what fun. I was doing in Florida. And we stayed at the Ritz and kicked it by the pool and played some golf. Ate like gluttonous kings at the hotel. Drove, uh, a, drove that Tesla, which was so awesome. Drove a Tesla Sport that has ludicrous mode, and Shit. I went so fast, so fast. <laughs> Dude, you know what I'm saying? Do you want to talk about us getting down to zero, Dude, below yeah, zero? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, like, the Tesla Sport mode is already fast on its own, and it's just, like, great for going, and whoo, there's just no feedback. It's like a RC racing car thing. Like immediate power. Yeah, immediate power, which is odd. I've never really felt it like that. And then it has ludicrous speed. So we were trying to figure out what that's all about. And, and it is, it, that's, I, that's why guaranteed whoever test drove it the first time comes back. He's like, that's ludicrous, mate. And they're like, okay, <laughs> well, what do you think? Oh yeah, I drove it. That's ludicrous. So they're like, it's gotta be ludicrous mode. And what it is, is just faster than you've ever gone in a short amount of time. Like you feel like you're on rock and roller coaster. Just instantaneous. Yeah, yeah. And we had only done it the first couple of times while going like 40, and then I just punch it and get up to like 80 or 90 in no time. But we were sitting at a red light, and uh, I was like, all right, boys, I'm going to go I'm gonna go zero and punch it. So we're sitting at the red light. Foley's in the back seat. I guess like he was sending a text because <laughs> I it turned green. I just go, boom. And, dude, I mean like roller coaster fully because he goes i think my brain just hit the back of the car <laughs> <laughs> zero to 60 in two and a half seconds is yeah what that is so fast, it's fast. Paul Walker mode? yeah, yeah. It's not Paul, Walker mode. paul walker mode yes. <laughs> oh. you tell elon that <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> dude i love dude i love blas because he's the only one in the room that could maybe probably go darker than me <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. I love it. So attractive. <laughs> so attractive. Just be in earnest. Just be in earnest. Just be in earnest. Just be in earnest.